the hospitality industry is thriving as you see. Um, uh, is look, look at the progress, the 100 million tour, uh, tourist uh, target which was supposed to be done in 2030. Uh, this year we have already achieved it and now the revised target has reached you know, 150 million. So it's aggressive but uh, it, I think there's a lot of progress uh, in, in reaching those aggressive targets and a lot of work done behind it. Uh, look, this year's occupancies have, uh, you know, from 59% in 2022 to 69% uh, uh, now last year. Now we are touching around 70 plus this year. So there's a lot of pro progress in terms of overall and also the uh, how many projects have been announced uh, to cater to this growing demand, uh, 150 million by 2030, you need rooms. And there's a very well-planned uh, programs behind where the rooms are also announced. Now we are reaching to, um, where Knight Frank did a research and now we are touching now 320,000 rooms in the pipeline. So with the existing and upcoming, we will by 2030, Kingdom will be able to touch half a million rooms, which is a big milestone in the region. So by 2030, Kingdom will have the highest capacity to absorb the 150 million uh, um, uh, target. I think it, they are very uh, behind the scene, which we not the general public don't see, but the Saudi Tourism Authority, Ministry of Tourism is uh, putting a huge uh, setup in the back and putting a lot of effort uh, to globally promote uh, uh, Saudi tourism. You go to ITB or you go to you know, uh, London uh, tourism shows or New York investment conferences, Saudi uh, is, is really promoting very aggressively. But also, if you look at the Mega and Giga projects, they are doing, uh, uh, you know, uh, helping a lot in terms of promoting Saudi globally. When people hear about Diria, Kedia, Rual Medina, Niyom, uh, with such a unique designs and elements coming up, they want to know what it is. And this is creating a lot of interest to come. Uh, this conference uh, shows you, look at how busy it is. Now it's busier than uh, you know uh, any such conference uh, elsewhere that I've seen. So that tells you how much uh, attraction Kingdom is getting. So people are interested to, to get to know more and also they're willing to invest. Look how many investors are here. Um, 2022, uh, Kingdom achieved 69. Uh, to, uh, 23, um, uh, sorry, 20, uh, from uh, 63 to 50, uh, 69, and now year to date we are crossing 70. So I think it is gradually uh, progressing. It's the, just a matter of uh, if the region is stable, uh, there's no reason why not exceed last year uh, 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 numbers. And right now, uh, the Saudi tourism has done an amazing job where it is very rare you see globally where there's more demand uh, than, the, than the supply right now. So today, if you look at Riyadh is full. This week, you don't have a room available because we are, we are full. So any event uh, takes place, uh, the hotel inventory just get uh, uh, you know, uh, fully absorbed and you don't have enough uh, room available. So with this pace, the way they are promoting Saudi, uh, tourism is promoting Saudi, uh, we need much more rooms and facility and conference facilities as a matter of fact. And now we have around 140,000 plus uh, with another 320,000 in the pipeline. So by 2030, hopefully, uh, we will have around half a million, closer to half a million. That's the number that the Ministry of Tourism is targeting towards. So as a student in tourism and uh, hospitality, what we see globally, Saudi is going very systematically. They're not focusing only on the main cities. They are gone second tier city, third tier city they are developing. They are developing airports, 13 airports are under development. The mega airport in Riyadh is, uh, has started, uh, you know, uh, the construction has started. 
Uh, so all the fundamental airline has been announced, which will be with announcement of the touching around uh, mo more destination than what uh, uh, Amaris is touching today. Uh, so all the fundamentals are very strong. Uh, cruise ships uh, 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 tourism, cruise tourism, they're activating that as well. So fun all the fundamentals are in the right directions. So if you have fundamentals right, nobody is stopping you because globally already the to, uh, main destination are saturated. There's over tourism. World needs new tourism. And for Middle East, we need diversity. Uh, we have seen Dubai. Now we want to see some nature. We want to see some, some different elements in the region. So I think Saudis has tick mark every fundamental requirement that is needed to be a true tourism destination. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.